Victorian Dance by Nujibes. Um, this is this song is based on Lamp is Low, but that song itself supposedly was based on an old French classical song. I did so much research. Look at all the research I have done. This song is not in standard tuning. It is tuned down one and a half steps. That means top string is tuned down to C sharp. Second from the top is tuned down to F sharp. Then that third from the top tuned down to B and then E. Then second from the bottom is G sharp. And then finally the bottom one is C sharp. Normally I would say just practice it in standard tuning. Save yourself all of the hassle of tuning down. However, this song has some difficult bar chords, and if you loosen all the strings to the correct tuning, it lowers the tension of the strings enough that it's actually quite a bit easier to play the chords. I kind of struggle with the song if it's in standard tuning, but if I tune down one and one half, half steps, then, um, then it's so much easier to play. Tuning tip. Um, I recommend tuning all the strings down a little bit, and then going all the way down. If you try to just go one string at a time all the way down, uh, it's gonna put extra tension on the tinier strings and you could break a string, it could be a disaster. Also, not a bad idea to tune down a little too much and then tune up to the note you want it to be. The strings tend to stay in tune a little bit better if you tune down too far and then up to the correct note. So that's how I'm doing it, tuned down. As always, talked about tuning way too much. Let's learn this introduction, shall we? There's a lot going on here, but we can do it. Worthless comment. All right, so we need to bar everything on the seventh fret. You see this? Your pointer finger goes up to the seventh fret. It's right against the thing of the thing with the stuff. And here's what I like to do. I take my middle finger and I smash down on top of my pointer finger to get some extra barring action. We want to push on every single string. Then your pinky has to come down and play the ninth fret on the bottom string. So we're barring on seven with pointer and middle finger, pinky on the ninth fret of the bottom string. Your thumb is gonna sit right on top of the top string while your pointer, middle, and ring fingers are gonna grab onto the bottom three strings like this. You're gonna do this right here. Look at this fancy move. You see that right there? So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm almost like peeling my hand off. So my thumb goes first, then my pointer, then my middle, then my ring. I don't feel like I'm plucking each string individually. It really feels like I'm just peeling my hand off. As you're getting used to this whole thing, if you just play all four of those at the same time like this, that's great too. Immediately following that, your thumb is gonna come down, play the third string from the top, then your pointer finger plays a third string from the bottom, and then I use my ring finger to play the bottom string. So we've got... Let's do it together. One, two, here we go. Blang, bling, blong, blang. Great, then there's a tiny little pause, just enough to take a breath. And then I use my middle finger, pointer finger, and thumb to play the second to bottom string, third from the bottom, then third from the top. So now we've got... See that? Oh, you did great. Finally, you get to get rid of this chord. Oh, love it. Then your pointer finger is gonna play the sixth fret on the third string from the top. You're gonna play the top string with your thumb open, and then using pointer finger, play that third string from the top. Now, in the recording, it's a little like a, a flam, sort of. A flam is when two notes are almost at the exact same time, but one note just comes a little bit after. So it goes like that. If you pinch them at the same time, it's gonna sound great, but you're gonna hear me do this little thumb finger thing. Thumb finger. Whoa! Let's take it from the beginning. One, two, very slow. Bing, bang, bong, flam. Great, you did a great job with the flam. Then, you're gonna use either pinky or ring finger. I can never decide which I wanna use. You're gonna play the seventh fret on the bottom string, play that note, then slide up to 12. So we're sliding from seven up to 12. Whenever I do a big long slide like this, here's my tip for you. Don't try to watch your finger as it slides around. Just stare at your destination. Stare at the place where you wanna end up 
and then stop your finger when it gets there. If you try to watch your finger, you're almost always gonna not go far enough or go too far. Okay, so we slide from seven up to 12, then you're gonna play the ninth fret on the bottom string, and I recommend using your pinky to play this ninth fret. So we just went like this, seven, 12, nine, just like that. You don't have to slide back to nine, you just play nine. One, two, from the top, here we go. And blang, bling, blong, blang, boop, pop, be flam, seven, 12, nine. Great job. This is my favorite part of the song is what we're coming to right now. We go like this. Beautiful. Here's what we do. We go back to that bar chord we did at the very beginning where you're barring the seventh fret, pinky's on ninth fret of the bottom. You're gonna pinch the outer two strings, so the top and the bottom. Then you're gonna jump down to the third string from the top with your thumb. You're gonna go thumb, then pointer finger on the next string, then middle finger on the next string. So that was pinch, thumb, pointer, middle. Do it with me, just those four notes. And bling, pow, Ooh, yeah, great job. All right, you ready for a big big shift here? Here's what you're gonna do. Your pointer finger is gonna relax. You get to relax your pointer finger, slide your pinky down to seven, okay? So pinky never left the string. It just slid from nine to seven. Pointer finger goes to the fourth fret on the second string from the top. That might seem like an impossible stretch. Make sure your thumb is not poking up over the top. Bring your thumb down here behind the neck. Then that stretch, I'm telling you, even if you have small hands, you can do this stretch. You can do it, you can do it. I have absolute f faith and courage for you. Uh, I have to remember what else we do. Uh, then you're, you have a finger that's gonna go somewhere. Let's see, your middle finger is gonna play the fifth fret on the second string from the bottom, and your ring finger plays the sixth fret on the third string from the top. But here's the bad news, your pointer finger has to mash down on the bottom five strings. Yes, it is another bar chord. Ugh. Okay, at this point in time, let's review what this chord is. Top string we're not using at all, Pointer finger is on the fourth fret of the second string from the top, and then it's smashing down on everything else. Ring finger, sixth fret of the third string from the top. The third string from the bottom is just being held down by your pointer finger. Middle finger is on the fifth fret of the second to bottom string, and pinky is on the seventh fret of the bottom string. It never left the string after that chord right there. Okay, great. I think we spent more than enough time on this chord. Your thumb plays the second string from the top, and then any finger you want, use middle finger, plays the bottom string. You pinch those together. Great, such a good job. Then your thumb goes down to the next string, and then your finger goes to the next string, your pointer finger, and then your thumb, what is this called? Middle finger goes down to the next string. So that was this, look. So that's pinch, thumb, pointer, middle. Pinch, thumb, pointer, middle. If we put that together with the previous chord, it's Just don't panic when you switch chords. Make sure your pinky does not leave the string. That is a difficult shift, but you can do it. I have so much, as I said, faith and courage in you. That's what I said to say at that point in time. Okay, we just finished up this chord. Then we go to this one, looks very similar. So you do have to move all your fingers around, but it's not too bad. Here's what we've got. Pointer finger, fifth fret on the second string from the top. Ring finger, seventh fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger, sixth fret on the third string from the bottom. Pinkies on the seventh fret of the second string from the bottom. And then your pointer finger does need to bar the fifth fret. So it has to push on the fifth fret of the bottom string. It just has to happen. I, we're past this, right? This song has bar chords, we understand that. Okay, then you're gonna pinch together, second string from the top and the bottom string together. Great job, and then you're gonna go, uh, uh, then your thumb is gonna play the next string down, so the third string from the top. Pointer finger plays the next one, and then middle finger plays the next one. So we're going. All right, great. Great! Moving on, one, oh, one more chord, and then we'll, we'll recap. The next chord is a diminished chord, it's great, you're gonna love it. Your pinky 
plays seven on the bottom string. Buh, what? Pinky plays seven on the bottom. Middle finger plays six on the second string from the bottom. Ring finger plays seven on the third string from the bottom. Pointer finger plays six on the third string from the top. This is it. This is it. You're going to pinch the top and the bottom string together. And then you play second from the bottom, third from the bottom, fourth from the bottom. So that was... Who doggies? That was a lot of chords we just learned, wasn't it? Mm, I think these four chords we just played in a row, the most difficult part of the song. It's very fun to play, very beautiful. Very beautiful chords, but it's also tough. Here's, here's my little tip for you for this whole intro. We're learning the intro, by the way, in case you didn't know. Also, I'm a dog dad. Did you know that? This intro is rubato. What does rubato mean? It doesn't mean you play it like a robot. Give me a break. Rubato, it also has nothing to do with rhubarb. A rhubarb is what, I mean, rubato means that the tempo, the speed can kind of fluctuate. It means you can take, uh, you can go slow and then speed it up and then slow back down again. So what's great about this is when you play a difficult part of a song, rubato, it don't, don't tell anybody this, but what you can do is you can play the easy parts kind of fast and the difficult parts kind of slow. I'm gonna give you an example of me playing this over the top rubato, which you could probably get away with. Let's say I'm really good at the beginning part. Say, uh, let's say I'm good at the first couple parts and then when we get to these chords, I'm really bad at it and I need to slow down. Watch this. See, it sounds like I did it on purpose. I mean, I did do it on purpose, but it helps me play. What, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Let's learn the next part of the song. All right, we just did our crazy diminished chord. Blang, bling, blang, blong. And then we go to this guy right here. We're gonna play this chord a bunch in just a few minutes, so brace yourself. Top string we're not gonna use. Second string from the top is open. Pointer finger is going to bar the bottom four strings on the second fret. So you gotta really smash your pointer finger there. Oh, and you can have your middle finger help your pointer finger. I just realized I do that. I my that so I, my thumb is right behind here. Oh, this there it is. I'm just pinching those together like that. And then my ring finger plays the fourth fret on the third string from the bottom. My ring finger often wants to go to the wrong string and I have to be very careful to make sure that it's on the third string from the bottom. Here's our chord. It's like a, an A chord of some kind. Probably an A, it's an A6-9, guys. Duh, it's an A6-9. Here's the picking we're gonna do on this chord. You're gonna play the second string from the top with your thumb, but at the same time, play the bottom string. I think I use my ring finger, but you can use middle finger, it's fine. You pinch those two together. Then your thumb comes down to the next string, the third from the top. Then use your pointer finger and your middle finger to play the next two strings together. Fantastic. Then you're gonna play the bottom string by itself, second string from the bottom by itself, third string from the bottom by itself, all by themselves. So here's what that sounded like. Hear that little pause? After we play that bottom string, there's a tiny little pause. Let's do it together. One, two, count your sheep. One more time, a little bit slower. Ah, oh, almost done with the intro, guys. Almost done with the intro, which I have to say is the hardest part of the song. Then you're gonna go to a D7 chord. Middle finger, fifth fret on the second string from the top. Pointer finger, fourth fret, third string from the top ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the bottom. You're gonna play those three notes together. I'm actually gonna do my fancy little, that little book of bow where I kind of peel my hand off. But if you play them all together at the same time, that's fine as well. That sound I just made was because I was gonna say something and then I realized I had no idea what I was gonna say. I'm very jittery today. I'm very jittery. I need to eat some more, need to eat some more nuts. Look at all these nuts. Look at this. I got almonds and I've got walnuts. 
peanuts, but I'm, for being honest, I don't love peanuts, guys. I don't love peanuts. And then I've got this one. What's this one called? That's the one that I used to get those white chocolate chip cookies from Costco that had these in them. And these are called, not pistachios, these are clearly called, ooh, how come I don't remember the name of this nut? I cannot remember the name of that nut. Um, if you could leave in the comments what kind of nut that was, and also you can subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. Hey, what's your favorite kind of nut? Is it that one I don't know the name of? Maybe it's a pecan, my favorite's a pecan. Not a big fan of pecan pie, too sweet. The end of the intro goes like this. We just played these notes. Then you're gonna play the fifth fret on the second to bottom string. Slide it up to 10. Remember my trick, stare at the 10. Don't watch your finger. Just stare at the 10th fret. And then play nine all on that second to bottom string. Five, 10, nine. Let's play the whole intro all together. And then we only have a couple more parts to learn. And honestly, the other parts of the song are all kind of based on this introduction. Here we go. You don't remember any of it. Just, just watch me do it and then just go like, wow, that's cool, good job. One, two, here we go. And oh. Oh, guys, it was beautiful. Did you hear all the rubato in there? It was very magical. That is the introduction that they play at the very beginning of the song. And then we move on to this main kind of little riff that goes. This happens a bunch of times. I think it happens like eight times. So check it out. Remember that chord, that A6-9 chord we played? It was pointer finger barring the bottom four strings on the second fret, ring finger playing the fourth fret on the third string from the bottom. We're just gonna hold that chord down. It's gonna be a good workout for your fingers and right here, this is where I feel it, is right here. I think there are many different combinations of fingers you can use for this, but here's the picking that I do. I go thumb on the A string, second string from the top. Pointer finger plays the D string, third from the top. Then I use my middle finger and my ring finger to play the next two strings, the second and third from the bottom. Then, let's see. Then I just use my ring finger again to play the bottom string. And then I go middle finger, pointer finger, and then I think I use my pointer finger again. I'm just cascading backwards on those top four strings. So it's. Yeah, so I go thumb, pointer, middle and ring together, ring on the bottom, middle on the second from the bottom, pointer finger on the third from the bottom, and then pointer finger again on the third from the top. And then I just start that over. We're gonna play that eight times in a row. How about you and I right now play that little part together very slowly, three times in a row. Bonka chaba, ka bonka. One, two, here we go. a beautiful chord, if I do say so myself. Um, so that happens eight times. How are you feeling about it, great? Then we go to uh, the next section. This might be like the main section of the song. You could argue that. It goes like this. Now here's the thing. We've basically already done this. This is basically what happened at the very beginning of the song. You have your pointer finger with the seventh fret Barred across all six strings, your middle finger can go ahead and help it push down pinky on the ninth fret of the bottom string. Here's where it's a little bit different. You're gonna pinch together the top and the bottom strings. Then you're gonna play third string from the top with your thumb, then third from the bottom with your pointer finger. So very similar to the beginning of the song. We go pinch, thumb, finger. So those middle two strings right there. Pinch, thumb, finger, then if you wanted to do the simple way, you just go straight to the bottom string with the ninth fret from the pinky. If you wanted to do it the fancy way, you can do this. This little blang, remember that same thing we did at the beginning? So what I'm doing is I have my thumb on the third string from the top, pointer on the third from the bottom, middle second from the bottom, ring on the bottom string, and I'm going 
I'm going thumb, pointer, middle, ring, but very quick where I just kind of peel my hand off. Remember that? So that's pinch, thumb, finger, peel. And do it again. Pinch, thumb, finger, peel. Great. Tiny little pause there. Then you're going to go middle finger, second to bottom string, pointer finger, third from the bottom, thumb on the third from the top. So that was blank, ding, dong, blank. Wait, no, 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 no. Blank, ding, dong, peel backwards. And one, and a two, and a one, two, here we go. No! God! Gosh darn it! One, two, here we go. Great. Then we go back to the same chord we did at the beginning of the song. You're going to have pointer finger on the sixth fret of the third string from the top. Pinch together the top string open and that third string from the top. This time we're just going to play them at the exact same time. Just pinch them together. And then we go to the bottom string, play seven, slide up to 12, and then go to nine. So it's almost exactly like the thing we did at the very beginning. That's like the 18th time I said it's the same as the beginning. Also, did you notice whenever I get nervous or self-conscious, I reach down here and I grab my water bottle and I just move it around on the floor. That's what I do. Anytime I do that, that's code for, uh, am I not doing this very well? Let's play this section of the song. So it was. That was kind of weak. Sorry, that was sloppy. Sloppy jalopy. They play this twice in a row. Let's go ahead and play it twice in a row together very slowly. And then you can see how it all fits together. One. Two, nice and slow. And bang, go, boom, blang, bing, bang, pong, um. Great. That was so. Oh, wait, wait, again. Sorry. Oh, so good. And then we get to the fast part. So they do that twice, then we go to this thing. So it's fun to play. You're going to love it. Here's what you do. You have to bar the bottom four strings on the seventh fret. Pinky plays the ninth fret on the bottom string. So that's four strings we're pushing on. You're going to have your thumb on the third from the from the top, but then pointer on the next one, middle on the next one, ring on the next one, and you're just going to go buck up, buck up. Just buck up, buck up. One e and a. One e and a. One e and a. Two e and a. You know, 16th notes, guys. We're going thumb, pointer, middle, ring. You start off slow. Just go... And then as you get more and more comfortable with it, you can start speeding it up. Uh, I, I reached my threshold, apparently. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got, now we're cooking with gas and flame and fire. All right. You're going to do this chord twice. Oh, so good. And then we have to go down to this chord. It's kind of, it's a doable switch, but it's a little bit of a pain. You're going to slide your pinky down to the seventh fret. Then your pointer finger is gonna play the fifth fret on the second string from the bottom. And then your middle finger and ring finger play the sixth fret on the next two strings. So starting from the bottom, it goes seven, five, six, six. You're gonna play the exact same pattern twice. What? Oh, there we go, sorry. Oh, so good. Then you take this exact same chord shape, you move it one, two frets over. So now you're on five, three, four, four. You do that one twice. And then finally we do this one. So this one starting from the bottom is pinky on four, ring finger on three, middle finger on three, pointer finger on two. Kind of an ugly chord, but it fits the song very well. This one we're only gonna do once. Okay, let's play those those uh, four those four chords in a row. We're gonna do it nice and slow, nice and slow, not bad and slow. We're gonna go book up, book up, book up, book up. One and a two and a one, two Kalamazoo. Switch. Oh, you did it. Uh, the trick. The trick, it's not much of a trick, but the little trick with having those chords go smoothly, make sure you do not lift up your pinky. Your pinky is just gonna glide along that bottom string. Your pinky is your anchor, keeping everything locked in. Immediately after this chord, 
you're gonna slide up to 11 on the third string from the bottom. I guess I kind of start on the second fret of that third to bottom string. I just, I don't really worry about where it is. My pointer finger gets onto that third from the bottom string. I play that third from the bottom string, slide it up to 11. That is a big old honking slide. And then, and once, and these, right as I get up to 11, with my pinky, I stretch down to the 14th fret on the bottom string, and I play that. Oh! All right, let's play this whole section right here. One, two, from this chord, here we go. Bucka chicka, 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 boom, bow. Uh. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's good because you can you can see me winding down. I'm making eye contact less and less. I'm not explaining things as much. I've got my nuts over here that are calling my name. Look at this nice piece of walnut. Then they go back to this thing. That thing that we did twice earlier, but this time they do it three times. And then they go right back into this again. Oh, oh, but this time, and then they randomly do this. When it goes back to this part, uh, what it does is it just goes, it just repeats those two. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this. Okay, whatever. Then it goes back into this. A lot of repetition in case you didn't notice. Then they go back into this thing again. But this time, they do the whole thing. Okay, great. Then we get to the final, like, new section of the song. Final part of the song, let's call this the bridge, shall we? So you're gonna have your middle finger up on the seventh fret of the top string, skip the A string entirely, pointer finger plays the sixth fret on the D string, the third string from the top, then ring finger plays seven on the third from the bottom, pinky plays seven, on the second from the bottom. Look at that. This right here, my friends and relatives, is a B minor six chord. So beautiful. Uh, you're gonna play thumb on the top string, pointer finger jumps down to the third from the top, middle finger on the next one, ring finger on the next one, and then once you get there, your pointer finger, you wanna just slide it up so they're all in the seventh fret. You also could rearrange your fingers like this. I know for me, usually what I would do is just rearrange my fingers. I'd move my middle finger down, pointer finger up to the seventh fret on the top. But because it's so close, I kind of want to just go. See that right there? So I'm going boom, go, boom, ba, slide it up. And then I'm just playing those same three strings backwards. I'm going second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top. So you also could go. Works great too, up to you, your call. Immediately after that, we're gonna stay on this minor seven chord. You're just gonna go bunka, bunka. So I was just going thumb, pointer, middle, ring. Then you go up to the ninth fret and do the same thing. That's the whole section we go. And then it does it again. They do it four times. Then what do they do? That's right, they go back to... Great. Then they go back to this thing. Then they go back to this thing. Then they go back to this. Then they go back to this. Then they go back to this. And then the song ends. I am the ultimate champion in recording this tutorial. Here we go. Messed up already.